Hi everybody, my name is Marsha and my friend Kathy in New York asked me yesterday if I would read a book to you guys. And I said I'd love to read books. I'd love to read a book to you guys. So she said video myself, send it to Max, my friend Max, and he will make sure that you guys get it. All right. So this is the book I'm going to read to you. Room for Bear by Sierra Gavin, one of my favorite books. It's about families, maybe like yours, that are squished together. There's not enough room because of shelter in place. And let's see how they work on it, okay? This is Bear. Can you see him? He's in his cave, and it's a lovely cave for a bear. But he's not happy. Hmm. I don't see any family around. He's all by himself. Oh, poor bear. He has a problem. Let's see how he's going to fix it. You have a problem, you try to fix it, right? So, bear packs up. Do you see his little suitcase? He's going somewhere. He's going to go find himself a family. All right, bear. Let's see who you find. You might think he'd find a bear family. Well, I don't think that's what happens. One spring, Bear came to the duck house. Do you see that greenhouse in the back? That little one that belongs to the ducks. You see those little ducks in front of him? He wants to live with them, but I see a problem right away. Hmm, do you see the problem? What size are the ducks? Little. What about that bear? Ah, but bear stayed. Hmm. Do you know what the problem's going to be? All right. Let's see if you do. Life with the ducks suited bear just fine. They talked to him in his ear. They brushed his fur. He sat on their little stools. Let's see, Papa Duck. He's thinking, hmm, this might not work out. He's awfully big. We still have a problem. Duck houses are not made for bears. So where did he have to sleep? He slept on the roof outside. Oh, he really wasn't living with them, was he? And look at Papa Duck. Hmm, he's worried about the problem. A bear sleeping on a roof? That's not good. And when he went inside, his head went out the roof and he got a hole in it. And his feet hung out. Oh, what suits a duck doesn't suit a bear. We still have a problem. See Papa Duck on the top of the roof scratching his head? Oh no. Haven't fixed the problem yet. And so the search for the perfect house began. Do you see that little sign near the greenhouse? You pre-Ks might be able to read it. It says for sale. Off they go. The ducks loved Bear so much they wanted to stay with him. Where would they find a house that was suitable for ducks and bears? Let's find out. Well, they found a tree and the nest in the tree was suitable for the ducks. But, oh, well, how was Bear going to get up there? Push him up, Papa Duck. It wasn't working. Poor bear. Poor ducks. How about a tunnel? The ducks fit in, but they pulled that bear. And they pulled that bear, but there was no way he was going to fit in that tunnel. Suitable for ducks, but not for a bear.
what suited the bear nicely didn't suit the ducks. The ducks felt that the cave was too big. The bear thought it was just right. He was happy and he thought maybe they were happy, but look at their faces. I don't think they are. Oh dear, this doesn't suit ducks. Let's find something that suits ducks. Well, what suited ducks, like a little houseboat, did not suit the bear. Bear, don't put your foot in. Oh no, we're going to sink. He was too big. Is the problem fixed yet? No. So, they all returned to the little house near the lake. There's the ducks on the sofa, and there's the bear. Oh no. What to do, what to do? <sighs> bear says maybe ducks and bears can't live as a family. Oh, that's a sad thought, right? Let's see what happens. What do you think he did? Yeah, he did. So Bear packed up and he left. Packed his little red suitcase and off he went. Oh. Bear was sad. He had to leave his family. The ducks were sad. They didn't want their bear to leave. Oh. Was there nothing they could do? Can you think of something they could do? Can you? Hmm. What do you think they could do? Think about it. I'll be right back. So, Bear found the perfect cave. Just the right size for a bear. But it didn't feel like home. Quack, quack, he whispered to himself. Poor bear. Look at him. How does he feel? Kind of sad, yeah. I would too. Bear thought of all the things he missed doing with the ducks. They used to curl his hair. He played hide and seek with them. He read to them. He loved reading books. He listened to music with headphones with them. They watched TV. He even went swimming with them. They wrote on his tummy. Aww. He missed his ducks. Then Bear had an idea. Hmm. He got to work. Do you see a saw and some screwdrivers and some a toolbox and some wood? Hmm. And then he went to get his ducks. They looked out the window. Hey, bear's coming. Oh, I wonder what he did. Do you think he solved the problem? We missed you so much, Bear said his ducks. Oh, hug, hug. I missed you too, said the bear. Come and see, I have a surprise for you. Okay, said the ducks, let's get packed up. Bear wants us to go with him. So off they went. What's the bear had built the buck ducks a new home. Now they had everything they needed. Do you see the little tables and chairs? Oh, it's so cute. And you know what? It fit right inside his cave. Look at the little couch and the rug. Oh, 
Wow! Most importantly, they would always have each other. They didn't have to live apart anymore. Before long, they had all settled in together. And as it turned out, ducks and bears turned out to be such a good match. Look at that. Oh. The end. <laughs> Look at Bear and his ducks. All snuggly on a perfect yellow couch. Well, Bear figured it out. He solved the problem. Did you like that story? I did too. And maybe if Kathy calls me or Max calls me, I'll get to read you another story. I have more books. Got lots of books. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.